Hello and welcome to Field 1 where we're going to have Alberta taking on Ontario 2. Let's take a quick look at the lineups. For Alberta, at number 1, Brady McCafferty. Number 2, Claudio Cabana. Number 3, Garrett Day. Number 4, Paul Grattan. Number 5, Tony Kawa. Wearing number 28, playing in the back row, DeWald Coetze. Number 7, Sullivan Abbott. Number 8, Dan Schmidt. Number 9, Jack Hughes. Number 10, Chad Monet Brofe. Number 11, Berea Ipa. Number 12, Jackson McDonough. Number 13, Cole Davis. Number 14, Jack Saran Singh. Number 15, Avery Vandenberg. Number 16, Trey Han. Number 17, Max Uren. Number 18, Brett Clow. Number 19, Aiden Vandenberg. Number 20, Marcus Brooker. Number 21, Riley Sedge. Number 26, Oliver White. Number 23, Luke LaPlante. Number 27, Ben Anderson. And number 25, Eric Jensen. Coming on the field, Ontario 2, Tavis, or sorry, this is your Alberta team coming on the field. Ontario 2, number 1, Tavis Smeber, number 2, Alex Sweet, number 3, Dylan Poson, number 4, Connor Renton, number 5, Mihai Russo, number 6, Sam Scott, number 7, Cam Elliott, number 8, Clayton Pendakas, number 9, Will MacArthur, number 10, Jason Simmons, number 11, Alex Sicker, number 12, Jehevo LaRose, number 13, Lachlan Dev, number 14, Christian Grillo, number 15, David Castavelli, number 16, Connor Krepp, number 17, Victor Esticki, number 18, Noah Pasco, number 19, Justin Elwood, number 20, Ty Shemko, number 21, Rob Freckleton, number 22, Eric Mill, number 23, Corey Russell, and number 24, Jared Hines. Have a great game, gentlemen. Enjoy your afternoon, folks. More energy? Didn't know. I don't have any names for coaches on there. <laughs> All right. Channel two, yeah, for uh, sideline there. Dean Blanks coming up to our position. Nice to see Mr. Blanks all the time. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Just watch the uh, f bombs. As you, yeah, <laughs> we're live on the air here and uh, key camera point. Here as we have the opening coin toss, if we can maybe pick up that picture here. We're on the air there, buddy, so just having the, the camera chat here, or the, the captain's chat. So just about to get underway here at field one. And this will be a great contest for these teams. Pretty evenly matched, I'd like to think. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what happened uh, earlier in the week with Ontario 2. Those Ontario boys fired up and uh, letting it fly there. And they have uh, beaten Quebec 23 to 15 on Tuesday and lost to BC2 20 to 12. While Alberta, let's have a look at their record. As uh, Ontario will line up right to left. And so they've switched sides actually in Alberta and wearing all black jerseys on a hot summer's day. They have uh, beaten Newfoundland already 26 to 10 and also beaten Ontario 3 34 22 sorry 27. So these are a couple good teams here ready to knock it out of the park here at field one. Doug Cross bringing the action Connor McGee on camera. So Karen Lozada is our official at the center of all the action. And that is a high restart into a stiff breeze to Alberta. Cleanly taken. 
by the number eight for Alberta. Nice run by Dan Schmidt. That's Jack Hughes offering a low pass to a trailing forward. The first few phases going okay for Alberta, but Ontario absorbing that pressure. Well, Will MacArthur, the scrum half for Ontario, probably one of the smallest guys we've seen on the field today, and he looks like he's one of those wiry, tough customers that can take a licking and keep on ticking. Alberta here with a clearance kick, and this is a huge tailwind to work with. Ontario thinking about trying to keep that in play, but just went too far, and so we'll have a line out here and it's going to be Alberta with the throw in. And that's taken by Ontario. That's a good job at the uh, line out. And getting across the field, bit of a flat pass at the 22 meter line. And Ontario's had to stop and clean that up. Wasn't forward, Lozada keeping an eye on that. And now just plunging into the line, still trying to really get past that initial 22 meter line. Line in the sand that Alberta's throwing down. Big tackle on Tavish Smebert now. Ball staying Ontario's side though, they've done well through a few phases and a backhanded pass just as he's going in touch. Flag stays down. Good job by Ontario to keep that ball alive. And bodies flying around at the breakdown. Still Ontario with it. And we've had a bit of a wind mishap here. It's getting a little breezy up here, folks. And Ontario with the ball. And that's about 12 phases they've strung together. And now back left is the call. Will MacArthur distributing that ball well to Ontario. That's the fullback into the line, David Cachavilli. So look at the ball control Ontario showing in the early going as Cam Elliott, the flanker, gets to it. More service by the scrum half, MacArthur. So mistake-free rugby through a couple of minutes here by Ontario, they have, but they haven't really been going that far. Now, nice distribution from Simmons, the fly half. Gets that out to the wing on that side. Grillo. Pick and drive, trying to bust it up through the middle. A couple of meters maybe for Ontario. This is where they could lose the ball if they're not careful. Alberta great at stealing the ball at the breakdown. Still Ontario side, we've got to be talking 16, 17 phases. Nearly crossing there by Ontario. Big probing, high bouncing ball in front of the 22. The Alberta player not getting to it before pressure coming from Jason Simmons. And so great probing kick by Ontario forces the knock on by Alberta. And they are sitting in the catbird seat at the 22 meter line of Alberta. Great opening touches by Ontario. Didn't drop a ball there for nearly 20 phases. Big crowd taking this game in. Home team Alberta enjoying a lot of support here at field one. So the, the breeze definitely has picked up in the last half hour to about, you know, gusts of 25 kilometers an hour going straight down the, the backs or into the faces of Ontario 3 as Lazada will reset this scrum. A bit unsteady. Ball going back cleanly to Ontario. And now the take by the eight, Clayton Pendakis. And Ontario just playing such precise rugby. Good job by the flanker, Sam Scott now, taking it a couple of meters. MacArthur looking for that ball, directing his forwards, pushing him to the right. Unplayable, says Lozada. They'll have the scrum, Alberta, with the play, uh, the put in. So good bit of work still by Ontario, keeping Alberta penned inside their own 22. Gotta say, I don't think I've seen 
a passage of play like Ontario just put together from inside their own 22 and just punching it down and keeping that ball clean and no drop passes really impressive stuff can they keep it up over 60 minutes we'll find out but here's Alberta and their first first instinct is going to be to give this ball a ride bit of pressure right footed kick that's not going to find touch or is it it's just oh just finds touch and now Ontario looking for quick and they've done it and Lazada doesn't like the looks of it and she'll not sure why the quick wasn't allowed to go on no one touched it so maybe uh bit unfortunate for Ontario there. Discussion between the assistant referee and Lozada now. Yeah, that's good. But you know you can bring it back like this. Lozada having some uh, radio problems, so they're going to rewire her. Seen a lot of Team Alberta shirts around, worn by parents and that. Probably a little fundraiser, but a lot of support for the Alberta team here as Tavish Smebert throws it in for Ontario. It doesn't go straight, so first miscue really by Ontario uh, with the not straight, and so we'll bring it in 15 and have the scrum. Front rows coming together on her instructions. And now it'll be Jack Hughes to get this in. And it's stolen by Ontario. Has it gone back Alberta side? Oh, it stays Ontario side. And great job by the back row, Pendakis. Straight down the line they'll go. LaRose getting it to the outside winger. Grillo. And they are looking threatening as a group that Ontario back line. Oh, that pass has gone to ground. Not gone forward, though. But look at the first up tackling by Alberta. Fiercely trying to get that ball back. MacArthur now spinning it right. That's to his fly half, Simmons. One more to beat, and that ball goes forward off of Alberta hand as they were trying to issue the pass. It will be a knock-on by Ontario. Alberta with the put-in. Lozada doing a bit of a tour around the scrum, make sure everything's tickety-boo. And now it'll be a put in by Jack Hughes. Scrum goes back, and Ontario happy with that result. Have they won the put in now? Or are they just cheering a moral victory here? I think they like the fact that they've pushed that Alberta scrum back a meter or so, and uh, it'll still be a put in for Hughes. Now Lozada reading the riot act of both teams about how she wants to see things between the front rows here. And that scrum's come down and now that's a, a penalty against Alberta. MacArthur trying to gather that ball in and do a quick tap. And now he's thinking better of it and let's kick it down to the corner he says. We're scoreless through the first eight minutes, 55 seconds of this game. And uh, so the fullback coming in, David Casciavilli. A little Georgian descent there. And that's a great touch finder. We'll take them about seven meters from the Alberta line. Great platform for them to set up and see if we can get a driving mall Organized when I say we, it's Ontario. I'm not saying I'm cheering for Ontario. Alberta hand gets to it. That's over the line now. Alberta in possession, and it may be touched down here, but it would be a five meter scrum if they did. 
and taken across the line, making contact with the ground. So victory for Ontario as far as they're concerned because they'll get the scrum five meters out. And uh, time for Alberta to really double down on the defensive effort. Everyone up onto the line and they've got to mark their outside man. The forwards are doing their job in the uh, scrum. Look for Ontario to drop their left shoulders and try and spin that scrum to the left and then maybe a number eight pickup from Pendakis. They'll do it again. Ball's gone in again. At the back foot, now picked up by the number eight, Pendakis, as predicted. But the back row there to meet his arrival. Ball staying on Terrio's side, but they are fighting for every centimeter to get closer to the line. Now spinning, twisting is the prop, Dylan Poson. Has that ball been stolen by Alberta? No, it's still Ontario's side. So close across the line, held up it looks. Lozada in position, and yes, it was held up by Alberta. So the Alberta fans cheering that defensive effort. But it's still Ontario with the put-in, five meters out. Some nail-biting stuff here for both teams. Scoreless through 11 minutes now. So oh, the two front rows have come together, and what can they do now? Maybe it's straight hands down the line now. Pendaka is not taking it this time. Indeed, they're going through the back line to see what they can put together. Big crash by LaRose into the line. He's immediately met with a black wall of resistance there. Now the pick and drive from the ruck. That's the flanker from Ontario, number seven, Cam Elliott. Nearly across the line, then he's pushed back. Another pass out wide to the prop, and he'll score! Tavish Smebert has gotten first points for Ontario here this afternoon in Alberta. Great patience shown by Ontario. Multiple phases, Alberta just repelling everything they could throw at them. And then finally, it was Schmiebert out wide. It was a miss out pass by a couple of players out to the prop, and he just crashed over with one player trying to get to him. And uh, got to say, a good bit of rugby put together by this Ontario 2 team through the opening uh, 12 minutes of this game. They have just held on to that ball and not made too many mistakes. David Cachiavelli, Cachiavelli getting ready to kick the extras here into a stiff wind. Ontario try, scored by number one, Tavish Smebert. Ontario five, Alberta zero. So now, Alberta will restart this. Jason Simmons, sorry, that's the uh, Ontario fly off. Chad Money Brophy getting this started. And that is gonna be high and deep. Oh, well fielded by MacArthur. He flips it to his right. And now some pressure coming on, quick passes. But Alberta there to meet them. Spinning, twisting out of a couple of tackles is flanker Sam Scott. Everyone eager to carry the ball on this Ontario team. Flipping it around, that was Renton taking it in from the second row spot there. The big Renton. 
That Ontario player wrapped up by three Alberta tacklers. Is it unplayable? Yes, Ontario took it in. Alberta will have the scrum. So great job by Alberta to hold the Ontario ball carrier up and force the scrum. And Oh, it's a penalty, and they're going to go for points. Mikey Stott, did you see the penalty there? What was that for? Oh, leaving the feet at the breakdown. Okay, so Alberta with a chance to uh, get some of the points back from that Ontario try. It'll be Jack Hughes, the scrum half. I'll be putting this on a tee and seeing if he can hit it from straight on about mm, good 35, 36 meters. He's got the tailwind to help him. Alberta penalty by number nine, Jack Hughes. Alberta three, Ontario five. So Hughes gets that kick through, and there's just two points in this game through 15 minutes, 16 minutes, just ticked over. Five, three, a nail biter of a game here. I think the wind is gonna be a real benefit to whoever's got it here. Alberta's got it in the first half. Well taken by the fly half there, Chad Money Brofe. Each touch of the ball comes at a price as Ontario just putting some blistering tackles in. Same can be said the other way around though. Every time an Ontario player touches that ball, there is a black jersey there ready to say howdy. In this friendly western town, everything ain't so friendly when it's inside the uh, perimeter of a rugby pitch. After calling a bunch of games here at the National Festival, I gotta applaud Alberta for the numbering of their jerseys. There are finally some numbers I can see. Uh, Ontario may be a close second there, but uh, definitely nice and easy, white on black. So that scrum didn't go the way it should have. Smebert getting up slowly for Ontario, and they're gonna reset the scrum. Big push on by Ontario, but Alberta coming away cleanly with it. Hughes with the ball he distributes to his outside half, Moni Brofe. Black jerseys just swarming over that ball. Hughes, good service to the right. Making a couple of meters over the gain line. Oh, Ontario may be leaving early. There is uh, Sam Scott getting up very quickly on the first up tackle there. Monet Brophy having another run there. And the wind uh, just what taking the uh, monitor down again is Ontario retreating 10 meters for the penalty and it'll be a kick from Jack Hughes to get down into Ontario end. You can see by the touch flag there that the wind is blowing pretty much straight down the pitch. Now, Ontario is tying that ball up. Where is it? Uh, it's under that pile of humanity somewhere. And that's a penalty. Pulling them all down is the call against Ontario. And so Ontario dropped back 10 meters. And uh, based on the leg that Hughes showed, yeah, he's gonna look to put his team in the lead and why not? Um, with this wind, he could definitely knock it over from this distance. Not as straight on as his first effort. So he's going to have to uh, 
get it up a bit higher and let the wind carry it around a little bit like a draw shot in golf so this will definitely be a boost to Alberta's confidence if they can get the one point lead here with this three point kick from Jack Hughes. He is really considering this kick now, making his first motions towards it. Well struck, looking good, but it's gonna be to the left, I think. Yes, it'll stay left, flags will stay down. And uh, so, right idea, but execution not quite there. Uh, I think that wind may be just moving a little too strong down the field to be kicking from out wide. I think if it had been straight on, he would have been able to just nail that, no problem. So the restart from MacArthur. Now he'll fling that back to his full back, David Casciavilli. And not wanting to risk the charge down, that's a great restart and has hanging up there for an eternity, taken by Jaskaran Singh. And now the offload to the hooker Cabana for Alberta. So, uh, 20 minutes gone in this 30 minute first half and it's Singh again and he managed to offload the pass to McDonough oh Ontario players may be coming offside there a little bit and now here's your prop Garrett Day making great inroads look at those legs pumping he goes a good 4 or 5 meters that's Hughes oh loose pass picked up and now it's the center. McDonough tied up, but ball stays Alberta side. More precise passing there to Chad Money Brophy. They've gotten outside to the outside center, Cole Davis. Davis, he's gone to ground. He wasn't held. Picks up the ball and keeps going. And no, oh, he's getting called for uh, not releasing the ball there. And uh, so not release will end Alberta's trip into the Ontario end but not, it's going to be tough to find touch going into the wind like that, but they've made no mistake, Ontario, and so it'll be a lineup for Ontario still inside their own half, but uh, not release, hold, holding back that Alberta charge. So Ontario huddling up a bit. I uh, may have missed, a, is there an injury? There is an Ontario player, uh, I think it's the fullback, David Casciavilli, looking for a little service, but uh, he stands up. And now is there an Alberta player down? I don't see anyone. Now we're back to normal service and we'll take the line out, far side line. Ontario with the throw in. That win, they gotta be precise, but they've been doing so far pretty good. Alex Sweet or no, it's uh, Tavish Smebert, the try scorer that's been doing the throwing and Lozada, that ball just perched at the back end of that rolling mall. Lozada instructing the teams to stay back, but now they can join that mall. They've gone far enough, now it's gone static. Pass from uh, MacArthur, and they've got maybe a little bit of an overlap here, well-timed. And here is a good run by the wing on this side, number 11, Alex Sicker. He managed to get that pass on, and that ball was just laying there, and Alberta was trying to counter ruck and couldn't get to it. And now Ontario may be losing the handle. No, they've come away with it. Some pretty feisty stuff at the breakdown. The fly half, Simmons gets that to one of his forwards. What a cohesive unit that forwards unit is for Ontario as an Alberta player climbs over the top of that ruck to get it to break down. And now it's the second row, Renton acting as the scrum half, maybe releasing a pass out wide, and that's gonna be 14. Grillo, will he score? He's gonna score right under the post. Christian Grillo scoring for Ontario. So Ontario now with a 10-3 lead. Great job by the little winger over there. He 
He just showed all kinds of pace, patient passing, finally got it out wide, and then to have the nous to get it right under the posts on a windy day and so that Castiavilli doesn't have to have a real struggle with the extras here. So he's brought it out quite a distance. I would like to think he could bring it in a little closer without risking the charge down. So he gets this conversion, it'll be 12-3 with five minutes left in this opening half. Quick run up, it's a high kick and the flags go up. So good job by Castiavilli in windy conditions into his face to make it 12-3. And so you gotta believe that Alberta is gonna be ruining a missed opportunity. They've had the wind at their back and haven't done as much with it as maybe they had hoped. One missed penalty kick, one big trip down where there was multiple runs at the line that they couldn't convert into a try. So they'll be facing this wind in the second half and that could be lights out with Ontario showing some pretty nifty kicking from hand. That's a great restart. It'll just go 10. Ontario under some pressure. Has Alberta gotten to it? No, that is Smebert, the prop, who's picked it up. Scrum half for Alberta will put it in. Jack Hughes. And position by position, I just think these two teams are very evenly matched, but the wind may be uh, just not used sufficiently by Alberta. They need to be kicking it down to the corners and getting this Ontario team penned in in the last couple of minutes. And that'll be Monet Brophy getting it out to the edges. And now that's the wing. Jack, Jack Aranza sing and he is bundled into touch. Ontario thinking quick throw in, and then they think better of it. Ontario will have the throw in. Smebert will be the thrower, and uh, Alberta matching up numbers to Ontario's short line out. Alberta countering now, peeling off of that. Some good quick tight passing. That's the number eight, Clayton Pendakis. Ball coming out for McCarthy and he's dropped it. And he's gonna bounce it a couple of times and he thinks there is a, maybe a penalty coming or something and that he had a free one, but no, that's a straight on knock on. He's dribbling it like a basketball there at the back of the ruck. Maybe he's gonna spin it on his finger next. Playing a game of horse out there. Cassiavilli, the fullback, gives it a right-footed nudge. And we're down the last couple of minutes of this opening half. I have to say Ontario has probably played better than the score of 12-3 is reflecting. They've been a very precise team but haven't done a lot with their opportunities, but they finished when they've had to. A try from Smebert and a try from Grillo, the wing. That has gone askew. That wind is really starting to play havoc with uh, the lineouts now. And so Alberta will take the scrum in 15. And in the closing couple minutes, this is really a chance for them, I think, to control the ball and kick it down the corner and then hope that the lineout doesn't go Ontario's way. That's the percentage play here at this point. Kick it down in the left corner and see if they can force an Ontario mistake. They certainly have the backs that can crash down and force an error there. And now this is Hughes. Instead, they're just reading it right. And the miss out and you're getting a little more complicated maybe they need to. Avery Vandenberg coming in to the back line. The ball back to Chad Money brofe And now we got a penalty off... Uh, what a, a knock on offside combo there. So we're gonna have the uh, net penalty here. And as the clock is winding down, still a little bit of time left. So Ontario will kick it into touch. Oh no, they're gonna go for posts. And that's a bold call with no time left into a stiff wind. No, they changed their mind, they're kicking to the corner. And that's a good touch finder. And they'll have enough time to get the line out in. So 
showing a bit of ruthlessness in this late stages of the first half. Can they put another try across from a line out inside the Alberta 22? The throw has got to be right. Lozada coming to the back to inspect. And that's a better throw from Schmiebert. He takes it off of a peel at the back of the line out. That's a great pass from MacArthur. A miss out pass, thinking passing back inside. Now stopped at the 22. Alberta trying to get to that ball. It's just laying there like an Easter egg. MacArthur hesitates, gets it off to the flanker, Cam Elliott. And now that'll be a try, a spin, and in for number eight, Clayton Pendakis. And he put a great move on there as he came in close. And just like that, that was a clinical third try here by Ontario. Oh, on the home side, howling in protest that there was maybe a forward pass and Mikey Stott, the lone voice of dissension in this booth. Never happened, it was a fine pass. 17 to three with the conversion kick to come. And that'll be uh, last ups for this half. We'll take a quick break, leave the feed going and bring you exciting second half action between Alberta and Ontario too. Cassiavilli just setting this up like a Super Bowl trophy here. Ball on the tee, forward facing torpedo style. He had an impressive conversion earlier from that side and short stroke and that goes up and uh, the whistle for halftime. You're watching National Festival Rugby on the nationalfestivalrugby.com website and rugbycanada.ca and we'll be back with more action in just a few minutes.
Just about set to get underway here, second half action. And it'll be Alberta kicking into that stiff wind that they're enjoying in the first half at their back. And you got to figure Ontario's got a pretty certain game plan, and that is to uh, send this ball by airmail all afternoon long down the Alberta end. Look at that ball hanging up, and it'll get just past the 10 meter line as Alex Sweet tries to get a hand on it for Ontario. Alberta now with a chance here. Chad Money Brophy getting it out wide. It's a loose pass now. Ontario players in there immediately to punish that mistake. Flinging it back inside, but there is a whistle from Lozada. And Karen Lozada spotted a knock on, so it will be scrum to Alberta to open this second half. Probably the fullest we've seen this grandstand. This tournament, lots of support for Alberta. That's Scott Hems from New Brunswick working as assistant referee on this side. Funny guy, Scott. Got to know him a little bit in Ottawa at the National Women's League tournament there. Now it's Chad Money Brophy. And he is being repelled, trying to get that pass off. And now a backhanded pass to the fullback for Alberta Avery Vandenberg. Now it's 20. Marcus Brooker kicking that ball to number 24, Jared Hines. And he's twisting through and trying to get that ball. And he did. He got it to Dylan Poson. Ball staying Ontario side. Quick service from MacArthur. MacArthur spinning it back left now. And that's Smebert, try scoring the first half. He's immediately tackled. Sweet trying to help him, and now a penalty. I think the Ontario players leaving their feet, not, uh, they're leaving their feet or uh, not rolling away. Yeah, they're, they're uh, crashing over at ruck time. Jack Hughes trying to buy his team some territory here. High end over end kick, and the wind will help push that into touch. And he got every square inch out of that kick that he could with these conditions. That's a pretty good job by the handy scrum half from Alberta. So Alberta with a scrum now at the Ontario 22. And big push being put on by Ontario. And that ball not coming out cleanly. Knock on in the scrum by Ontario. So we're going to have another scrum here for Alberta. Yes, we are. Scrum really having trouble getting started here. Now Alberta holding their own against that Ontario shove. They'll get it out clean hands. Chad Money Brophy holding on to it. Delayed pass into the line by Jackson McDonough. Running in there now, doing great stuff. Chad Money Brophy, first man of the breakdown. And now they'll get that out to the fullback Vandenberg. Five meters out now. So running into this wind, Alberta really seems to be filled with purpose. Garrett Day now tackled immediately. Claudio Cabana suffice, is setting it up, and now it's Chad Money Brophe setting it up one more time. And a big blast of the whistle, and this will be against Alberta. So Ontario will be thrilled to give this one a ride down the field. Off the boot of Castiavilli, the fullback. And does what was asked of him, picks up a good... 15 to 20 meters, a bit more maybe. 
but it'll be line out to Ontario more importantly and this is where they're dangerous from their set piece they're a very well drilled team and you can tell that they have practiced a lot of moves off line outs and scrums first jumper target hit that's Renton now extra attackers coming in to stabilize it and a good bit of running off that line out by Ontario I think that was Clayton Pendakis, the try scorer late in the first half. Now that's a loose pass, advantage coming, penalty against Alberta. And what's this one for? Offside, quick tap, nearly lost the ball. MacArthur now going sideways, spinning sideways that ball and they're looking for a gap. Castiavilli getting it out to the wing on this side, Alex Sicker. Backs doing the hard work, getting in there, stabilizing that. Now that's number eight, Clayton Pendakis. Spin pass from Rushu. That Ontario player's gone to ground now. And counter ruck produces the ball. Oh, it was picked up by the flanker, Sam Scott. And he was hammered immediately. I thought that was an Alberta player that had found it. So good bit of work in the ruck there by Ontario. MacArthur getting it to the right. And now they're putting the ball to foot. And what I'm expecting more of from Ontario, bobbled by the fullback Vandenberg. And things getting a little feisty, a little peppery around the edges. That ball has popped up. Alberta maintaining possession, but it is getting frantic in there. Now Ontario has stolen that. They're just a few meters out from the line. Larson is at the breakdown. Ontario has been poaching ball all day long. Now MacArthur getting that out. Drop pass, lost opportunity as the Alberta player comes swooping through. That's Sullivan Abbott and it'll be a scrum for Alberta. You have number 18 coming on the field for Alberta, Brett Clow, number 16, Trey Hand. Now Trey Hand is a, probably an important add to this team because he is a disruptor from the back row. He had a great game the other day where he just constantly messed with the other team's ball. And Clow, he is dangerous at lineout time. He is a great defensive lineout jumper. So we could see things change measurably for Alberta at the set piece and in the loose with those two changes. Who was the second role player might have come off there, Mikey? Uh, he's got your, your whole team's season-long tape budget on him. He's all wrapped up. He's number wearing number. I don't know what number he was wearing. It's likely uh, Gratton, probably, or Tony Kawa. I don't know. All right, let's see what Alberta can do from inside their own half. Flat passing. Oh, there's a gap now. Big first gap for Alberta here, and. Castiavelli couldn't rein him in and now looking for support. That's the inside center McDonough and he's still going, still thinking about offloading. Has support to his right, support to his left and big cheers coming from this pro Alberta crowd as Jack Hughes gets there. Bit of a loose pass but that was a good 60 meter run from Jackson McDonough. Now at the Alberta 20, Ontario 22. That's more like it from Alberta. Garrett Day taking it into contact. Rolling along, rolling, rolling, rolling like an Alberta tumbleweed. And now, Paul Gratton with it, the second row. Wind really starting to pick up here on field one at Al Calgary Rugby Park. And now, that pass didn't go forward, did it? No, that came off of Jackson Madonna to Marcus Brooker. And the scrum half, Hughes in close but into touch now. And boy, this is an entertaining affair here. Alberta versus Ontario. Ontario with the 19-3 lead and a huge wind at their backs, but Alberta saying, I don't care, we're scoring. The hooker, number two, Claudio Cabana, looking for a little emergency taping as Tavish Smebert gets ready to throw this in for Ontario. It's gonna have to be precise stuff right near their own try line. Probably 
one second jumper. Oh, and they've missed it, oh, but it doesn't matter. Oh, people pouring through. Now, that's great running from MacArthur. Deciding to kick over the top wasn't possible with the pressure being put on. And so he's bought himself some breathing room, and maybe now he'll give it a hoof over the top. Alberta's stolen that, I think. Well, still Ontario ball. MacArthur gets it back to Castiavilli. He gives it a long ride down into just inside the Ontario half. So that was a good relief kick from the fullback. Folks, if you haven't had a chance to get to Calgary Rugby Park this week and you're in the Alberta area, you got to check it out. A thousand athletes playing games all week long. Oh, a bit of a miscue in the line out, and the wind is going to do that, and Ontario calling the scrum in 15. Just one game tomorrow morning at 9, but then Saturday and Sunday, some great games as we get into playoffs and crossovers and things like that. Still lots of action left today going through the final kickoff, 4.30 this afternoon on most fields. So come on down and check out some great rugby action. Global Calgary here filming some of this action, so look for it on the news in your market here in Calgary. Or if you... Uh, have oh that scrum crashed down pretty hard Lozada is going to walk to the other side and see just what's going on so Lozada waiting uh, to get these two front rows together MacArthur has been pretty flawless at scrum half this afternoon for Ontario. Now it's Ontario coming in, boring at the scrum, and, and MacArthur pretending he didn't notice that perhaps Hughes would like the ball to play with. And then he uh, begrudgingly gives it up. And this is the man we were talking about coming in off the bench, Trey Hand. And he is a big guy to deal with, and he loves to run with the ball. And look out when he wants to start tackling, because he'll make you pay the price. First up pass to Sullivan Abbott. And Alberta really playing with some purpose here into this wind. And they don't feel like they're down 19 to three at all. Or sorry, yeah, it's still 19 to three. I feel like Alberta should have come away with a try in that last trip. But Ontario devious at the breakdown and coming up with that ball to clear their lines. Delayed pass not coming and not before an Ontario player has tackled. Uh, them that's 22. Eric Milne doing a good job on defense for Ontario. Hand, they're establishing the ruck there. Trying to drive off those Ontario players, but Ontario hands got in there. It was out, says Lozada. Now Cam Elliott twisting through a couple of tacklers. Another spin pass from MacArthur off one hand, still goes back. That's all right, that's to Schmiebert, the front rower. MacArthur going left now. Cachiavilli in the line. Schmiebert again, busy front row player. Plays like he's a loose forward. Now that's gone loose, and Ontario trying to like kick it back just to buy themselves some space as we have number 28, DeWald Kutze, Kutze coming through, and now the penalty is going to come back to Alberta. Ontario will retreat 10 meters. And uh, boy, this is one of the most exciting games we've called all week. And it's kind of a, a big gap at this point, 19-3. But Alberta just walking the walk right now. And they're getting down the field. And I feel like they will be scoring the next points in this game. They missed a second shot at goal in the first half. That would have put them into the lead, 6-5. And then just before halftime, a penalty with only a few seconds left saw Ontario kick a line out and then the try came from Christian Grillo after a few phases off that line out. So Ontario doing some good stuff with limited resources at times and they were playing into the stiff wind. Now it seems to be uh, just the opposite in the second half. Ontario not doing so much with the tailwind and Alberta on the ascendancy. A bit of a, a hesitant throw in there, almost could have been a penalty there. 
and quick offload. Castiavilli implicating himself into this game at the fullback position and great hands down the line. That's Grillo, the try scorer in the first half. And now they're really pouring the gas on inside the Alberta 22. MacArthur, the scrum half, has brought down hard. Ontario being patient, driven back with that touch of the ball. Still going left, still not finding a way through. I think uh, they're just going to keep bashing at that door until it splinters and opens. Cachiavilli acting as the fly half. Pass back inside to number 24, Jared Hines. He had that big run to get them into the 22. And now Cassiavilli kicking over the top. Is anyone home? It's going to be the fullback, but that ball will go over the dead ball line, or did he touch it down first? I think he touched it down first, so the 22-meter dropout. In retrospect, he maybe wanted to uh, let it go over the dead ball line and uh, have a scrum up. Now we have a quartet of changes for Ontario. 20, 19, 17, and 16. And that's Ty Shemke at 20, Justin Elwood 19, Victory Ichi 17, and 16, Connor Krept coming on the field. So good work, and I, I'm wondering if uh, maybe they're pulling the, the hook on these guys a little too early. Alex Sweet coming off, second row uh, Renton, and uh, the prop Dylan Poson all coming off. And will that change the shape of that Ontario scrum who's done so well so far through this game? Restart taken by Cassiavilli, the fullback. MacArthur now. Quick spin to the right. And first touch of the ball by uh, Noah Pasco is on the field now. The flanker for Alberta, Sullivan Abbott. Big run. He's found a gap. He'll be brought to ground before he can pass. And he's got to put that ball down. Immediately picked up by uh, Barria Ipa. And he's nearly away to the races, but he stopped five meters from the line. Stolen at the breakdown by Ontario and Connor Krepp. Knock on coming against Alberta. It'll be a scrum to Ontario if they need it. They're going to kick over the top and no advantage gained, so they'll take the scrum. End-to-end -end stuff here by both teams playing a high quality of rugby. Not a lot of mistakes by either team, but... Uh, when they come, they result in tries. We've got a, a change coming up for Alberta. We'll see who that is coming in. So now it'll be the put in for Ontario. They're resisting that shove from Alberta. MacArthur, who for my money has been one of the steadiest scrum halves I've seen here this week, uh, is doing well distributing that ball down the line. I want to say that's Cam Elliott that's taken it a good few meters for Ontario, but Alberta coming away with it. Jackson McDonough who had that huge run for Alberta to possibly set up a try taking that into the line and now it's the fullback Avery Vandenberg he gets it to the outside wing Marcus Brooker wearing number 20 as a replacement and now that's Coetze so Alberta establishing their presence inside the Ontario 22 mistake free running from Brady McCafferty the prop Outside center now, Cole Davis. He's found a half gap, brought down hard. A cover tackle from the scrum half, MacArthur. Loose ball, and that is Beria Ipa on that side, trying to get to it, but a penalty will come Alberta's way. And a penalty kick won't help them now as the clock ticks over to 19 minutes. They need to score some tries, so full credit to them. They're in it to win it. They want to play this game. And now, this is Trey Hand. Look at him with ball in hand. Took a couple of Ontario's big boys to bring him down. And boy, the scrum half going in there like a miner after a nugget. He gets it out now, the fly half. 
trying to get it out. Chad Money Profe. Chad Money Profe will score, and that gets Alberta back in this game in a big way, 19 to eight, and a good patient bit of work by Alberta as Ontario 3 was doing everything they could to tie that ball up. And now we have got ourselves an interesting final 10 minutes here as we're nudging towards the 20 minute mark. Everything to play for here for Alberta with the conversion kick to come, 19 to eight. Alberta try by number 10, Chad Monet Brofe. So Hughes will do the extras here. This wind, he's got to really allow for uh, that tee maybe uh, getting buffeted around a little bit. It's a dead on shot for him. And it'll make it 19 to 10 if he makes this kick. Flags are up and that kick is good by number nine, Jack Hughes. Alberta 10 and Ontario 2, 19. So Alberta still needs two scores to get back into this game and into the lead. Nine points adrift now, but Ontario, importantly, hasn't been scoring any points this half. Cleanly taken by Marcus Brooker. Great first up tackling by Connor Krepp and number 18, Noah Pasco. And now it's Trey Hand. And I think the insertion of Hand has changed the complexion of this Alberta scrum. Riley Sedge getting it out now. Ball loose at the 22 meter line. Ontario fighting to get to it, but Alberta securing that ball. And uh, smartly, Alberta not looking to kick their way out of trouble here into this stiff wind, but that ball's gone loose. Chad Money Brophy picking that up. He swarmed by the Ontario back row, and now they're in a bit of trouble and they may have to think about kicking, but no, a penalty saves the day. Hands in the ruck against Ontario. There's been no threats of yellow cards here from Karen Lozada, and that shows how well the game has been played. There hasn't been a lot of infringements at the breakdown, but both teams will probably tell you after the game, there's certainly been some hands in that were not picked up, and that's just down to KG play uh, where eyes can't see. So it is a line out for Alberta. Will this wind cause havoc with the throw in? Looks like it's gonna be 19. Aiden Vandenberg doing the throwing now for Alberta. Big tunnel established here. Ontario's got some good defensive jumpers, but it, it's a good job by Paul Gratton in the second row. That ball one hops into the hands of uh, Moni Brophy, and now your fullback, Avery Vandenberg, getting into the line. And that's the uh, thrower at the line out, Vandenberg, pushing his way through. Now, Ontario may be getting a second speech from Lozada. So they may be in risk of uh, a next infraction. Three players called out there. Hands in the ruck and just what we were talking about where, you know, people fear to tread. That ball may stay in play. No, that was a good touch finder by Alberta. So seven minutes left in this game. Nine points, the requirement to tie. 10 points for the win, so a converted try for Alberta and a penalty would put them on top. Or they might just make it easy and score two tries, but first they need the try to just knock that deficit down a bit. And that ball didn't look straight, and Lozada won't have it, and it'll be a scrum in 15 for the not straight throw, and both teams have suffered from this with that brisk wind coming straight down the park. It's really tough to adjust the throw 
and be accurate over that short distance. So they're going to have it again, interestingly. Okay, I don't know why that is. Aiden Vandenberg will be doing the throwing again for Alberta. And this time, no mistake, and that is to Grattan, uh, the second row. And now that's going to be an offside and possibly a card against Ontario. No, no time off. Coming in from the side. And now that's a quick tap from Marcus Brooker. Down the line, Chad Money brophy holding on to it. Releases to Jackson McDonough. Quick spin pass out to the flanker, Sullivan Abbott. Oh, and those players leaving so quickly off the line as uh, DeWald Coetze is wrapped up. Now, it's Trey Hand, the big man, the big back rower. And those passes are going askew, but going Alberta way. Oh, this is a big run from the inside center. Jackson McDonough, he stopped at the five meter line. Ontario's tackles are definite and costly. And now drop ball, handoff by Ontario to try and keep the drive alive. Is advantage being played? No, it's not. Now, MacArthur gets a pass out and Ontario throwing it around like the Harlem Globetrotters. Loose ball, and that'll go into touch before an Alberta player can get there. And that's the best that uh, Corey Russell could do with all kinds of pressure there was to shepherd that ball into touch so an Alberta player couldn't get to it, pick it up, and run it in. So quick change now by 18 for... No, let's see who's coming off here for Alberta and who went on. 18, Brett Clough was already on, I thought, but maybe not. Maybe he just came on. Alberta player is being treated on the sideline. Try and uh, maybe stop some bleeding. That's the prop. Garrett Day and uh, the clock ticking away on Alberta's afternoon. And I'm afraid nine points might be a little much in this shortened format. Three minutes left and they still need to get a try to get back into this game. So Aiden Vandenberg, number 19, will get it in. Nicely done, finds his target despite the win. And now that is out to Monet Brofe. Now McDonough, and out to the winger. He's wrapped up out there. Berea Ipa is wrapped up out wide, but stays on his feet now, just a couple of meters out. Can Alberta get that ball back? Yes, they can. That's Coetze. Ball to ground. They desperately need a try right now so they can work at getting the go-ahead score. And now a try at the corner. Hand hasn't gone up. Whistle as... Lozada looking for some help on that far sideline. And try given. And now we could have some nail-biting stuff at 19 to 15. And the conversion kick to come. Try and find out who scored over in that far corner. Get some gut rip. This is a big conversion kick for Alberta here. It's Hughes, the scrum half, and this is a tall ask from near the touchline into this stiff win. They need every point they can. Mind you, an unconverted try would give them a one point victory as well. So all is not lost here. They just would really like the conversion. Oh, that's a beautiful kick into this win. It's hanging it up. Oh, and the flags go up, and what a great bit of kicking from Hughes to make it a three-point game with under a minute to play in this game. They're racing back to see if they can organize and complete the comeback. 19-17, and the only thing that is stopping Alberta from winning this game now is gonna be the clock. Ontario 
walking like an old man at a crosswalk, slowing this clock down. They don't want to play right now. They want this ball out of bounds as quick as they can get it. Under 30 seconds to play, maybe a little bit of injury time. And Alberta has got to keep this ball alive. Ontario doing everything they can to drag them into touch. Chad Money Brophy to Trey Hand. He's run over a couple of Ontario tacklers. He gets back up, he wasn't held. Now it's uh, 21 for uh, Riley Sedge acting as the scrum half for Alberta. And they have got a long way to go and Ontario stolen that ball and it's over the 30 minute mark and they may look to kick it into touch. That's not the official clock that they're referring to so they might do it at their own jeopardy as we see big number 17 victory at Kiki Actiti, and now MacArthur, he's dropped that ball and dribbled it again like he did previously, and no knock-on call coming from Lozada. Crowd bang for the knock-on call. That's Tavish Smeebert taking it back into cover. That ball still on Ontario's side, and hacked through by Jackson McDonough. Alberta's come away with it. There is no time left on this clock. A knock-on would end this game for Alberta. The game can't end on a penalty. They've got the rolling mall going so slowly. And now that could be the end of the game. And it is. And whoa, what a great comeback. Stopped only by the clock here in Alberta. Full marks to Alberta to work so hard in this second half to come back against Ontario and come up three points short. And the crowd giving a round warm round of applause here as two teams played an excellent game here in under 18 men's rugby and expect to see these guys maybe at playoff time. So we're going to wrap things up here for a few minutes and back with more action at the 3 o'clock kickoff here at uh, nationalfestivalrugby.com. Thanks for watching. Back with more in a bit.